and then found in one evening. You're not too unlike me, you good for nothing block of pine. What's that you say? Oh no, I'm not drunk. Don't be silly. A man's got to do something to keep warm. You understand, don't you? Hmm? Why, yes, of course I'm going to burn you. How else shall I survive the night? <coughs> Sounds terrible, you say. Well, do you have any better ideas? Hmm, a marionette, you say. Well, if I were to fashion you into some kind of marionette, whatever would I call you? Ah, oh, yes, now I see. I think I shall call you Pinocchio, my little pine nut. <laughs> oh, my, my, how late it's gotten. You see, Pinocchio, already your company has become a distraction to me. Well, I really must be off to bed now. Lots of work to do tomorrow. There will be much awaiting you as well when the morning sun rises. Sleep well, my boys. Are you sure this is such a good idea? I mean, it is a full moon after all, and you know you shouldn't be roaming the streets on full moons. Too many people making careless wishes on nights like these. Oh, hush, Salvatore. I know exactly what I'm doing. Besides, this poor marionette has a wish I simply cannot refuse. Yes, but you see, that's just it. You never refuse wishes on full moons. Would you be quiet, you silly dog? You're going to wake the boy's father up, and he's going to need all the energy he can get to keep up with this one. This wish is special, my love. Pinocchio has a strong voice, but in order for him to use it, I must first listen very closely. Excuse me for saying so, madame, but I believe you're going to have to wait for much more than that. I mean, if he's such a special one, then you know it's going to be quite a handful. Chissé la porta, animale. Oh, dear. Oh, my darling Pinocchio. What a brave little puppet you are choosing a town like this. <laughs> my, my. You really are looking for an adventure, aren't you? It's all right. You may speak. <laughs> oh. Oh, my fairy. Is that really you? I can't believe you've really come for me. I thought I was going to be playing make-believe with that puppet maker forever. Oh, but my dear, dear fairy, you heard me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, Pinocchio, of course I heard you. Every time a puppet like you comes along, I have no choice but to listen. But you must be careful. Not everyone will be so generous with a bright young marionette. Geppetto, your father, will take good care of you. Be a good boy for him. Oh, I will. I promise I will. Good. You must behave like the little boy he's always wanted. Go to school, walk, and learn from the others, but do not draw unwanted attention to yourself. If you succeed, as I know you will, your wish will be granted. My wish? My dear fairy, what wish? <laughs> oh, my dear boy, you have so much to learn. When you have seen and heard more of the world, you will know what your wish is, and that is when I will come for you. For now, be all you can be. It is a full moon tonight, and it shines for you. Come, my love. It is time for me to return home. Wait! Miss Mary, where are you going? I have so many questions still. How will they ever be answered? <laughs> oh, the marionettes. They are always left with so many questions to ask for which no one is there to answer. Well, you silly boy, you really are quite a lucky one to have me. Who are you? Actually, where are you? I am your advisor. I am your guardian. I am your luck. Call me what you will. I'm your cricket. No, no, over here. Yes, that's right. Not bad for your first time. Now, first things first. The name is Dario, and you clearly are the infamous wooden puppet my good fairy was telling you so much about. I suppose so. That lady was very pleasant, and she smelled rather nice, too. But I couldn't understand all of what she said. It was all so complex. Now I must think of a wish. And I must find the moon. And this life I've been given, 
Well, now I'm just so excited about all these things, I don't know where to begin. Hold your horses, young lad. Tonight is only the beginning. And in order for things to go well in the morning with Geppetto, you need a good night's sleep. Put your mind to rest. Oh, no sleep. I couldn't sleep. Not at a time like this. It's my first full moon. Why waste it doing what I've been doing for eternity as a block of wood? Come on, Dario. Let's start that adventure. I guess I'm going to have to get used to all the doors in here. Pinocchio, stop this. You don't even know how to walk properly yet. Oh, what do you know? You're only a stupid little bug. But look at that moon. It's glorious. Oh, this is even better than I imagined. This world is so beautiful. Oh, I love it. Oh, my fairy, I love it, I love it, I love it! Pinocchio, you're going to pick everyone up. Pinocchio, wait! What is wrong with puppets? Pinocchio, you must return home now. There are only a few more hours left until daylight, and Japan will be very upset to find you in running around town unfinished. Come, you ignorant boy, it's time for bed. But Dario! shock at first. I don't quite understand it all myself, but I quite like it here, and actually, I quite like you. In fact, according to the Blue Fairy, I wouldn't be liking much of anything right now if it weren't for you. The Blue Fairy? Uh, who's Daria? Are you feeling all right, Babo? Would you like me to sing you a song to make you feel better? I learned one from Daria last night. No, 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 no. No songs, please. It's too early in the morning for that. I think I need to get some air. Ooh, air! Me too, me too! Where are we going to get it? You no, know, Pinocchio, you stay right here. I wouldn't want you to get lost outside. Outside? Oh, please let me come with you. I love it out there! You, you what? You've been outside? Oh, what am I saying? I'm talking to a puppet who's talking back at me. Dio mio, perfe io, perfe oggi. Oh, those are... C'era la cosa della birra. I'm sorry, Pinocchio, I don't mean any more embarrassment. You just stay here quietly. What's wrong with you, boy? It hurts too much right here. It hurts right here. Oh, fine. I'll bring you back some food. Just wait here, and I'll be back soon. Oh, no, not today. You are not getting lost or into trouble today. Stay right here, just as your father has told you. You're hungry, that's what that feeling is. He's going to feed you and you're going to feel much better. Why do you always have to pop up right when I'm getting ready to have fun? Hey, if you don't want my help, puppet, I guess I'll just be off then. Oh, I didn't mean it. I don't like crickets anymore. They're no fun at all. Here we are. All right. I've decided that if you truly are the curious puppet you claim to be, I'd best start providing for you just the way I would for my own little stuff. So, here's some food and... <laughs> now, now, I also brought you some books so you can go to school. And here's a hat so you can always keep your head on right. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When can I start school? Can I start today? Oh, no, I don't think so. You're not ready yet. Please? No. Now sit down and eat your breakfast like a good little boy. I have to finish you before you go anywhere. You've already smudged up the paint from your effect last night, I see. Hi! Go on then! Go to school! You'll be 
good to have you out of my way. Go on then. Bye. Bye. Ciao, Bobo. <laughs> Pinocchio, for you this one is special, but all girls will get you into the same kind of trouble, the kind you should not get into on your first day of school. Oh, you again? Yes, me again. The Blue Fairy has appointed me as your sole guardian. I am to lead you on your way to finding your wish and becoming a good little boy. Come along, boys and girls. <laughs> Come along, boys and girls. Okay, well, uh, see you later, Dario. Oof. What an interesting adventure this is going to be. I mean, there are babies I could protect. There are grandparents I could be given to as anniversary gifts. Young couples I could be sent to after their first night of wedlock. Maybe even a whole backyard I could be hired to sing in with a chorus of other crickets. But no. Even after all the hardships I've been through, that blue fairy still appoints me to guide this young boy to her doorstep. This certainly will be a most exceptional and tiring delivery. <laughs> You're going to be the death of me, not my cough. Hey, besides, I seem to be the only one on the prowl for a decent job. What? Him? You really think he's going to fall for us? Oh, you know, look at him. It's Pinocchio. The kid's too smart. Got too much going for him to give that now for two strays. <laughs> I'll see about that. My dear poor boy, whatever is the matter? Uh, I'm sorry if I disturb you. It's just that, well, my wonderful new day is not turning out as fun as I was hoping. I've loved every second of it, but I just learned that greedy people who want my money are really not very nice at all. Oh, my dear, do tell us what the matter is. I'm sure we could find a way to help you. Uh, yes, my strapping young lad. You are far too young to know a sadness such as this. Today should be one of miracles and magic for you. Well, okay. Do you see that sign over there? I wanted to go in to meet some of the other marionettes. I got thrown out as soon as I walked in. <gasps> no. no! Why would they do such a thing? Well, I honestly don't know, but I know they wanted me to pay for some reason. Oh. My dear boy, you are in luck because we have got just the solution for you. We know a man who hands out coins 
like they're candy. He strolls these streets daily, and I'm sure Rufino will be able to locate him in a jiffy. Candy? What's candy? You've never had candy before. Oh, my dear, you really do have so much to learn about the pleasures of this world. Here, try this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, I didn't see. Oh, that's all right, my boy. Nobody seems to notice uh, Roberto anymore. Oh, my beloved Roberto, how are you these days? Oh, Giuseppe, your voice is as lovely as ever. Are you here with this rascal that I've just made the acquaintance of? Yes, actually, that's why Rufino sent you here. We need you to help our new little friend. He desperately wants to go see the marionette theater and meet his fellow puppets, but has absolutely no means of getting five euro. Well, my boy, I have exactly what you need. Here are a few coins. Oh, well, thank you, sir. It's, it's not that easy, my boy. First, I must see that you're a man of uh, e honor and uh, decency. Uh, what will I get in return if I give you two TD miei soldi? Well, I have these. You can have them all if you like. They're really quite interesting. But, hey, books, eh? Uh, all right, then, my boy. This is what we'll do for this time. But the next time, how about something a little more valuable? Hey, OK. My boy, I forgot my books. Thank you. Gonna do that is. And you know what, my boy? How about the, how about you take a few more coins and get yourself some candy on the way home? Enjoy, puppet. Yes, I hope that helps, Pinocchio. Now, Julie, enjoy yourself. Have fun in there. How do they know my name? May know yours? Say thank you to Fino for fetching that old man. Maybe I'll see you again someday. Yes, I'm sure you will. My name is Giuseppe. Now, go on in and tell me the beginning of your show. Bye! Well, that was interesting. So really, we got his books? Giuseppe, you know I can't read. What are we going to do with these? Burn them for warmth tonight? Quiet! Damn cricket's coming. Pinocchio! 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 You again? Come on, haven't you caused enough trouble already? It's bad enough that I gotta give you seven years of my luck. Luck I could have spent on other things like, I don't know, love for when I retire, maybe even wealth. I should know better by now. After all these times of losing, why do I still think I can win a bet with you? Everyone knows you cheat anyways. Hey, my good friend Dario. <laughs> Running out of luck again? <laughs> out of luck? It's only to be expected, Dario. A guardian with a gambling problem is a little along the lines of ironic, is it not? I said he's better off without you. What would you know about guardianship? You haven't gone a day without caring about anyone but yourself. Oh yeah? That's not true. Why do you think I've stuck by the side of this lowlife for so long? Okay, fine. You two lowlives continue your gambling and cheating, just don't get my Pinocchio involved. And that means leaving me alone as well. I won't be distracted from fetching him from his lessons ever again. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to wait for him outside of his show. Oh, you silly, silly cricket. He's not going to be out of that show for ages. Hey, Dario, you know what? Why don't you come with us? We can get a nice cappuccino, one of those little muffins. Uh, we can discuss our differences, and I'm sure... No, Rufino, that's enough. You two, scram. I'm staying right here for the boy I have sworn to protect and guard, and guard him I shall. Goodbye, Giuseppe. Oh, well, Dario, I can't say we didn't try to make amends. I guess things are just going to have to get a little more difficult for you from here on out. Yeah, no hard feelings, Dario. Everybody's got to make a living, and poor defenseless puppets are just so perfectly naive. Until next time, lover boy. <laughs> See the marionette theater. It was amazing. 
Next time, I really wish to meet some of the other marionettes. They all are so much more like me. More than the schoolboys, anyway. Maybe tomorrow I can find that old man again and he'll give me some coins for my hat. Pinocchio, over here. Huh? Oh, you're one of the marionettes. Wonderful show, by the way. Oh, thank you, Pinocchio. We all saw you sitting in the audience. We recognized you as soon as you came in. Would you like to come meet everyone? Oh, yes, please. That would be wonderful. But how does everyone know my name? Pinocchio, that's quite enough. Geppetto will be expecting you home any minute now. Oh, shush up, Dario. This is exciting. I thought you wanted me to enjoy life. Corvo! Oh, that's all right, Pinocchio. Maybe tomorrow we'll see you. Just knock on the little door at the side of the theater, and I'll let you in. I'm Carlo, by the way. Okay, thank you, Carlo. I'm sure I will see you again very soon. I'm sorry for my rude guardian. He's a little uptight sometimes. Oh no, that's all right, Pinocchio. You're lucky to have him. But even dear chief. All right then, let's along, Dario. You know, that was very rude. I'm not uptight, and I do want you to enjoy life. It's just, I have a job to do, and you're making it very difficult for poor old Dario. Oh, you silly cricket. How I love you. lost that cricket. And your books. On your first day, too. Bobo, how many times do I have to tell you? I didn't lose him. He hopped out the window right as I got into bed. But he promised he'd be back again today. For all we know, he could be following us right now. Bah, no matter. Now, you make sure you get to school on time today. And do be good. Pinocchio, make your father proud. Oh, I will, Bobo. Don't you worry. I wouldn't make that choice today if I were you, Pinocchio. Listen to what your father told you. He bought you a brand new set of books for today. But Dario, you cannot stand to sit in that classroom with all those children who I'm nothing like. Well, I know there are my marionette friends waiting for me in there. Oh, Pinocchio, I thought I heard you. Come, follow me. Everyone's so anxious to meet you. I knew that child was going to be nothing but trouble. Didn't I warn the lady? I said specifically, Pinocchio is going to be a handful. But she didn't listen. Well, I always trusted you were right, Salvatore, but what was I to do? I can't just go gallivanting around the countryside like one of those country bumpkin crickets without a coat or a shoe to his name. Cricket's got to do what a cricket's got to do, you know. Well, maybe you can't quit your job. But I certainly can. <laughs> Getting too tired for these games of trust and obedience and tests. Too stressful. Besides, I've always had somewhat of an allergy to pine. <laughs> Salvatore, you know as well as I do you're never going to be able to leave the side of that fairy of yours, and she knows it better than the both of us combined. You're her trusty poodle, and she'll never find one as doting as you. Welcome, Brother Pinocchio. We've been waiting for you all night. We have a special performance put together, just for you.
this long away for little rascal. Pinocchio, is it not? I've heard such stories of your spirit, your wit, your agility. Caught? I'm not sure I know exactly what you mean, signore. Did you hear that, my little angels? It's even so daring to call me signore. Young one, you have much to learn if you wish to win my approval, it seems. Oh, I'm ever so sorry, Your Excellency. Well, looks like you are a fast learner, boy. Let's see if we can teach you how to be put to work in as much of a hurry as tonight. We have a big show to put on. I'm not going to let you sit and waste away with the termites now that I've finally plucked you from that greedy, self-centered father of yours. My father? You mean Geppetto? What do you know of my father? <laughs> Have you no brain, puppet? Geppetto works for me, answers to me, and fulfills all his obligations to me. Unfortunately, he was a bit too taken with you, and I had to work harder to acquaint your addition to my marionette troupe. Carlo is a worthy servant. However, your father should be more careful if he's going to be hiding his work away like that. Although, you are quite beautifully carved. You don't know a thing about my father! Silence, puppet! How dare you insult me! You want me to breathe fire right down your neck? Is that what you're after, you pathetic peck of wood? Get back to work, all of you. I will return tonight to make sure I'm prepared. Do you understand? Si, senore. Pinocchio. I'm sorry, but you must understand. I've never seen the outdoors the way you have. I've never had a lucky cricket to keep me on the right path. I've only ever known the inside of this theater. All of us here can say the same. We were forced to bring you here, but in our own selfish ways we wanted you here, to teach us the world outside. Oh, I cannot tell you much. I have only ever been from my home into school. I'm not yet very old and have not seen many sights. One of my favorite sights I have seen, however, is that of my Babo every time I walk in the door. He is there for me, smiling. And now I have been taken away from him. I am much like marionettes. But Pinocchio, you're one of us. Teach us to be more like you. We never meant to hurt you, it's just that Ignazio can be so scary sometimes. He breathes fire from the depths of his burning heart and scorches anyone who disobeys him. Well, then I don't like him much either. This place is so unpleasant. I just want my Dario to come back and my fairy to take me home to the warm workshop where I know my Baba was waiting for me. Pinocchio, Geppetto isn't waiting for you. He knows Ignazio has you, and he must be very sad. But if you ever want to see him again, you're going to have to win the approval of Ignazio. Fine. Anything. Per favore, just get me out of here. Okay. Tomorrow morning, we're going to break free. I see how much you miss your father. I was wrong to have brought you here. I'll help you, if you help me. I want to be free as well. Okay, everybody, listen up. Pinocchio is the one Ignazio really wants, so he's going to start things off. When I ask for freedom, he'll intervene. Then we dance, okay? When I yell adesso, blow the pepper in Ignazio's face, so he starts sneezing and setting everything on fire. Then we escape through the back door. Got it? Is everyone ready? They better be, especially for Pinocchio. It's time for him to redeem himself. Your Excellency. Before we begin, I would like to bring something to your attention. Tonight, if you may grant it, will be my last night performing in the marionette theater. I would like to request my freedom. What did you say? Request freedom? How dare you have it? Excuse me, sir, if I may. I think these puppets have gotten some unreasonable notions into their noggins today. What with my arrival and all. I think my exposure to the outside world has left them a little wistful. But I'm sure, once you see this dance, you'll see we have nothing serious to worry about here. Very well, Pinocchio. But I want you leading the dance tonight. I don't think I can trust some of my other servants anymore. Begin. Your Excellency, I bring you the dance of the escape. <laughs>
Dasso! Yes, I have. I know I have. But I know what my wish is now, Fairy. I know what I would like to be more than anything else in the world. And what is that, my dear marionette? Well, to be just the opposite of that. I want to be a boy. I want to be a real, real boy. I want to go to school like all the other real boys, and to wear colorful clothes instead of these black and white ones. I want to be able to talk to that girl. What is her name? Pinocchio. You have not yet proven that you are ready to become a real boy, nor are you ready to know that girl's name. Once you know her name, she becomes something meaningful to you, and you must be sure on your own account, not hers, that you are ready to become a real boy. Oh, beautiful fairy, please, can't you see? All I want is to be a real boy. I want to be loved by my father and to make him happy and proud. I want to be loved by my classmates. I want to feel happy when I talk to that angelic girl instead of ashamed. Are you sure you understand the responsibilities that come along with being a real boy? Yes, I'm sure. Well then, tonight I hear your wish. <laughs> the wish you've had inside you all along. You will be with your precious Rosabella, and you will become a real boy. But first, go home to Geppetto and prove that you are worthy of this wish by behaving as a good little boy should. No trouble this time, Pinocchio. Rosabella? 
Oh my, what a beautiful name! Come along, puppet. You've got lots of work ahead of you before you can remember that name. Quickly, return home. Thank you, fairy. Thank you so much. Amante blue, Terry, che hai sto fatto e quella che serve per diventare un bambino vero? Vedremo. We will just have to wait and see. Babo? Babo, I'm home! Oh, my boy. My poor, poor boy. What has Ignazio done to you? Nothing, Babo. I'm fine. And I have these coins to pay Ignazio so you can keep me. Pinocchio, you don't understand. I can't pay him for you. He's supposed to pay me for you. I was to carve marionettes for him, but I couldn't give you up. <coughs> Pinocchio, he doesn't care about this money. Besides, we need a lot more than this to make him happy. You know, he said that you would come to. Pinocchio, I'm afraid I failed you. What do you mean, Father? That can't possibly be true. Surely there's something we could do. Quick, hide Pinocchio. Don't let him find you. Shush. Absolutely silent. Oh. Oh. oh no! My poor, poor father! He needs me! I need to help him! Where am I going to get more coins from? Giuseppe! Rufino! Here, kitty, 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 kitty! Giuseppe! Well, what have we here? Rufino, isn't this the little marionette boy we happened upon a few days ago? Hmm. Oh, why yes, he does seem somewhat familiar. I know that you both remember me, and I know you both cheated me out of my books. I may be made out of wood, but I wasn't born yesterday. Actually, weren't you? Oh, whatever. Look, I need your help in getting my father back from Ignazio, the fire-breathing puppet master. Look, Rufino, you and that old man with the coins were the same person, weren't you? I don't care where you got them from, but I need more. I already have these, but it's not nearly enough. Oh, oh no, that won't be nearly enough. We can most certainly help you, Pinocchio. But you've hurt our feelings. We didn't cheat you. We're just poor, hungry souls who need some company and some comfort at night. Your books have kept us entertained and have educated us. Yes, yes, in fact, we have become so knowledgeable that we know how to get all of the money that you will ever need. Come, come. <clears throat> come with us to the field of wonders, and we will show you how to get your father back. Very well. But you're not touching my coins. I keep these. That's good, Pinocchio. Uh, the hole's all dug. Now, what you must do is put your coins in the hole, uh, bury them nice and carefully, and mark the spot. And wait till the morning comes. And when you check again, you will see that your amount will have tripled. But remember, you must stay here all night. OK, I think I can handle it from here. Thank you both, and I'm glad you've discovered this new, honest way of finding your riches. Arrivederci, my friends. Arrivederci, puppet. We've got the money in the hole. We can collect it tomorrow. Good. Won't be enough to pay for Pinocchio's debt, but it will be enough for Geppetto to be let go. Make sure all the money's in the hole. But tonight, Pinocchio cannot be mine. He can be no one's. Killed. 
Dario, I know you're there. I know what I'm doing. You don't have to spy on me. I'm not really so sure you do know what you're doing, Pinocchio. Why would you trust those animals again? You never should have left home, Pinocchio, and all the rash decisions you've made. It's catching up with you. Look at yourself. You're stranded out in these woods like a fool, burying your only coins in the dirt of a farmer's field. It's the only way I know how to save my father. Look, Dario, if you're not going to be of any help to me in the decisions I make as a good, caring young boy, then just leave me alone and go chirp in someone else's ear. The only reason why you resent my friends is because Giuseppe deceived you once. Well, I never! To see where it gets you when your luck has finally run out on you. <coughs> Dario? Is that you? I thought I told you to... Ah! Get it! 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 Ah!